Hi, this is Mr. West, and you are watching a walkthrough video for Finding Percentages Sheet 3 from MathSalamanders.com. Make sure to check out MathSalamanders.com for tons of other great math resources and worksheets. Now, this video is on finding percentages of numbers, and I'm going to teach you the kind of traditional way to do it, and also kind of a shortcut slash math hack if you guys want to consider that one. But first, let me show you kind of the traditional approach to this. So you see this section A is talking about uh, multiples of 1% and 10%. 1% and 10% are actually pretty simple to find in terms of a number. So if we're trying to find 1% of something, we just need to move the decimal place one over, okay? So you're probably thinking, hey, this says 3%, not 1%. Well, I know that 1%, I'm gonna move this decimal place two times over. So I move it over twice, and I know that 1% is simply six. How do I know that? Well, that's because one is 1% 1 of 100, okay? So if I move that decimal place one, two times over, that's just one. I probably should move it over just, there we go. So it kind of looks like a smiley face. <laughs> I didn't mean that. But one is 1% 1 of 100, so I just move the decimal place over twice. Now, six is 1% 1 of 600. Now, again, I'm not looking for 1%. I'm looking for 3%, so guess what I need to do? I need to multiply this by 3 because I have to multiply 1 by 3 to get to 3%. So I do the same thing by 6, and I'm going to get 18. Okay, So that's one way. You use kind of building blocks. If you're looking for 10%, let's go ahead and do that one real quick for number 2. For 10%, what we're going to do is instead of moving over tw uh, twice, so 10 is 10% of 100. So take a look at 100 here. If I get to 10, notice that decimal place is there. And if I move it over twice, take a look. I go one, two, sorry, twice, that's 1%. For just 10, I get just one time over, okay? So 10 is just one over. Now it's saying the wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> so if I want to make it 10%, I would just move it one over. So 16 is 10%, okay, of 160. But again, I don't want that. I want 20%. So guess what? I just need to multiply it by two. So if I know 16... I swear that's a 16. Let me correct that. There we go. So if I know 16 is 10% multiplied by 2, I get 32 is 20% of 160. So that's kind of like the building block method. I like that method. It's great. I just know there's a kind of a little trick in terms of doing it a little faster, okay? I'm trying to think of a good one to do it on. And, okay. So... Probably a good one to do it on is number 10. So this is the trick. If we write 6% as a fraction, which is like this, and then of, we know, is times, and then 500, we have a couple things going on here. We have 6 over 1, we can write it, times 1 over 100 times 500 over 1. Okay, so we have three fractions multiplying together, and it doesn't really matter which one, which order we go in. So what do I mean by that? This is kind of like, I'm just kind of showing the mathematical reason, but the kind of like the trick is a little bit more simple to say. So if I move this 500 over and then move this one over, that just kind of goes away. And now I have six times 500 over 100, okay? Which becomes six times five, which is just 30, okay? Now you're probably like, that's a lot of work just for doing the same thing we just talked about. Well, the... The way that I've seen this talked about in terms of a math hack before is changing from 6% of 500 to 6, 500% uh, of 6. Okay, so you basically change the percentage onto the other one, depending on if it's a number that is more suitable for that, and it makes it a little bit easier. Now I know that 500% means times 5, and I just do 6 times 5 is 30. See how that's a little bit easier? And you can do that with all of these. So for example, if I didn't want to find 8% of 10, I'm like, ah, I don't know how to do that. I could say, okay, I want 10% of 80. I'm like, oh, 10%, I know that. That's pretty easy. I know that's just 8. Turns out it's the same thing, okay? Or I'm trying to look up another one. I like 4% of 2,000. Ugh, I don't want to do that. What about 2,000% of 4? Well, I know 2,000% means times 20. Okay, if 200% is times 2, then 2,000% times 20, so just do 4 times 20, guess what? That's going to give me 80, 
See, it's a much simpler way of doing it that way. And again, multiples of five. So if you have multiples of 5%, again, you could find 1% and then just times it by five. Or we can use that little trick we've just talked about. So let's see, 15% of 80. Um, well, actually, I'm going to teach you probably this one. Not super suitable. You could find 80% of 15. That one's not super easy either. So I'm going to probably just use the traditional method, which is breaking it down into smaller components. We know that 15% equals 10% plus 5%. That's why I said multiples of 5% here. So 10% plus 5%. Well, 10% is the easy one, okay? So if we're talking about 80, 10% is just going to be 8. We move the decimal place over once. Now, 5%, as you guys might be able to tell, is half of 10%. So what I can do is like, okay, if I know 10% is 8, then I know half of that is 4. Now we just have the problem... 8 plus 4, sorry, that real it's not equal. I should put like a box there. <laughs> and that's 12. So I know 8 plus 4 is 12, and that's going to be 15%. So if you want to calculate 15% tip, that's what you do. You find 10%, you take half of that and add that onto 10%, and boom, there you go, 15%. 75% of 40. This one's actually fairly simple. You can think to yourself, uh, think about it in terms of 4. So 25% is a building block of 75%. And I know that you do 25 times 4 to get to 100. So I'm just looking for, okay, what multiples of 4 do I have of 40? And that one's pretty simple. I know that 10 times 4 equals 40. And 70%, 75% means I have 3 of those. So I do 10 times 3, okay, and that gives me 30. So 30 is 75% of 40. I'm trying to look for any others that have a math hack. 85% of of uh, 1,000, that might be a good one to flip. So we have 85, 1,000% of 85. Okay, that one might be easy because we just multiply by 10. And if I multiply 85 times 10, I'm just adding a zero. So that's going to be 850. Um, okay, I'm just looking around here uh, for some additional ones. I think this one might be easier to do in terms of a flip. Anytime it has a zero at the end of it for the percentage, usually, or for the number that says of, it might be better to do that as the percentage. So uh, we could do 20% of 25 instead. So this one uh, is not as easy, okay? But if you're looking for 20%, I know that's the same thing as one-fifth, and I know one-fifth of 25 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. I mean, but 25% is pretty easy in itself. I mean, that's, you know, there's a component of 4 there. 20 divided by 4 is also 5. So it really could go either way. If you're looking for some of these general percentages, this is like the toughest section. Again, the building block method is going to be the easiest, but some of these, the hack is actually pretty key for them, okay? So, for example, 12% of 50. Well, guess what? 50% of 12 is way easier. Guess what that is? That's six. So think about using this strategy for this section especially because these numbers are probably easier percents than these numbers, okay? So if we're looking at 10% of 24, which you could re write this problem as, I'm going to move the decimal place over one time. That's 2.4. That'd be a little tougher to do trying to find the 20% and then 4%, I think. I think it's much quicker flipping around this way. Or 50% of 52. That means I'm just finding half. I know that's 26, and I'm done with that one. So this section, absolutely use the math hack. It's going to make it way easier. 200% of 34, guess what? And multiply by 2, that's going to give me 68. So that's how you would do this section, or at least that's how I would do it, and you're going to be kind of living the dream here. The last one, probably this one, uh, a little bit easier if you have just, um, yeah, you could just do it this way. 99, 1,000% uh, of that. Well, anytime I'm uh, writing 1,000%, that means I'm multiplying by 10. So I'm just going to add a 0, 990. See what I mean? Kind of a simple way to do it. So if you have any other questions on any of these or if you have another tip or trick, leave a comment. Any other math-related questions, leave a comment. I'll happily answer it for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.